If you are interested in receiving a free Bible, make sure you contact me. God bless you. Some people may disagree with me when I say this, but hey, let me say it. <laughs> Be very careful. Let me say this first. Let's say that there is a Christian and this Christian exposes people who teach wrongly. And let's say that that Christian is right when that person is exposing other people. Like the information that Christian is saying is correct. Okay, let's say that there is a witch or a Satanist <laughs> or a Muslim or, hey, a demonic person. Let's say that a witch, let's say that a witch sees what that Christian is doing. Seeing that that Christian is exposing people that are trying to trick others in the wrong doctrine. So let's say that this witch wants more people to come to hell. So what this witch does is expose people as well, but telling lies. So not telling the truth on people. So on one hand, this Christian is telling the truth and telling you not to listen to that person, this person, that person, whatever. Let's say that that witch is doing the same thing, but doing it to deceive. Okay, there are people out there that don't know much about the Bible or about God. So, if they see everyone exposing everyone, <laughs> who are they to believe? How would they know which person to believe? If everyone is exposing everyone, you have to believe that there are demonic people out there, witches and stuff like that, doing the same thing. Exposing people, but in the wrong way. By naming names, and stuff like that, what you are doing is causing confusion, perhaps even strife. What I do, and I can't be wrong about this, what I do is expose the wrong doctrines. I can tell you that once saved, always saved is a lie. Because almost everywhere in the Bible, it is wrong. It proves that that doctrine is wrong. What I don't do is go around, hey, Pastor Red is teaching wrongly. Don't go to his church. Don't listen to his videos. Hey, Pastor Brown there is in undercover Muslim, so don't listen to that person. I don't do that. Because, hey, someone can do the same thing to me. Hey, Cav is over there teaching wrongly. Don't listen to him. Okay, so they see me exposing people. They see people exposing me. <laughs> Who are
are people going to believe? Confusion. This is what demons want. Teach against the doctrine, not the person. Don't name names. Listen, everyone can change, right? So what if that person is teaching once saved, always saved for many years, and let's say that one day this person chooses to change. But so many people have called him or, or her a false prophet or a false teacher or whatever else. They have muddied that person's name. What can that person do now? Because what if that person chooses to teach rightly? Hardly anyone will be willing to listen to that person. So be careful with naming names. Pastor Red there is so demonic, stay away from him. Pastor Blue, hey, he is going to give you the blues. Don't do that. Don't do that. We need to show love. Even if a person is teaching so wrongly, so off. We need to show that person love. We can't beat that person down and wait until that person dies. No, we need to show that person love. Everyone can change. If I can change, <laughs> anyone in this whole world can change. What if the people from my past tell you all the bad things that I was in. For a person that doesn't know me, that may discourage you from listening to me. But I am not that way anymore. You see? Stop naming names. Everyone can change. Everyone can sometimes be in error. Yes, some people are doing it on purpose. Yes. But still, teach against the doctrine, not the person. We have to show love to the people, even if they are wrong. But we teach against that demonic doctrine. Once saved, always saved in this hyper grace stuff. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.